using only reverse transcriptase, full-length cDNA copies may be hard to get, especially from mRNA that is present only in very low amounts or unusually long. Reverse transcriptase often fails to reach the end of a long RNA template due to hindrance by RNA secondary structure. Thus the 5' end is often incomplete. Consequently some means of recovering the complete cDNA is needed. The RACE technique generates the complete cDNA in two halves, hence the name rapid amplification of cDNA ends. It is necessary to know part of the internal sequence of the mRNA cDNA in order to design the internal primers, therefore, the technique is generally used when an incomplete cDNA was isolated by other techniques such as library screening. The RACE procedure is essentially a modification of RT-PCR, but unique so-called anchor sequences are added to each end of the cDNA to facilitate the PCR portion of the reaction. The 3' reaction of race PCR primes reverse transcriptase to synthesize a DNA copy from the polyar tail of the mRNA by using an oligo DT primer that has a unique anchor sequence at the 5' end. Since the internal sequence is known, an internal primer is designed so that PCR will amplify from the polyar tail to the middle of the gene. In the 5' reaction, the internal primer is used to initiate DNA synthesis using reverse transcriptase. Next, an artificial polyar tail is added to the 3' end of the DNA by terminal transferase and GDALP. The same oligo DT anchor primer as used to initiate the 3' reaction is then used again during the PCR amplification cycles for the 5' reaction. The anchor sequence primer and internal primers are generally designed to include convenient restriction sites to allow further cloning and sequencing.